Hey there everybody, Mason here with Reservation Outdoors. Walking back to my first cubby. Last time I was here I rebaited it. Something small has been stealing my bait. So I put another half a muskrat in there. Take a quick check here and see if anything came through here. Oh, nothing here yet. Trap is still set. Bait still inside. Threw a few grouse feathers out here just to entice them a little bit to come in, to come into the cubby. Off to cubby number two. Okay, I was just getting in here to my second location. Got a snare, my otter set in the cubby. Beautiful day out here in Minnesota. And I don't see anything in the snare. The snare is knocked over. Nothing in it. I'm gonna reset the snare here and go take a look at the cubby. Jump on the cubby set. And you can see we got a raccoon in this one. I'm guessing the raccoon is what knocked my snare down. Perfect suitcase catch right behind the head on the back. First raccoon of the year. It's like a pretty good size one. I'll get this reset here and get this raccoon removed out of my trap. And we'll check our otter. Set. Here's our raccoon. Got him out of the trap. Pretty good size coon. Nice stripes on his tail. First raccoon of the season. I was gonna reset my cubby set. Got it all rebuilt. Took a peek and something else had taken my bait out of there. So I'm gonna have to walk back up to the truck, grab my bait pail. Could have been another raccoon or two with them. Doesn't seem like these raccoons, they don't travel alone. So could have been one of his, one of his buddies with him there. Grabbed the bait, took off with it. We'll get that reset and come back in another day or two. Come back and take another check. Okay, I got my natural cubby set rebuilt. Trap reset. Rebaited. Took a chunk of beaver meat, wired it, wired it to a pole. So nothing can grab it and take off with it, I hope. Trap is ready to go. Do a few grouse feathers around here just to make any animals curious. We'll come back in a day or two, come take another peek at it. Coming up on my otter set. Gotta do a little chopping here. And take a quick peek at it. Well, I got a hole chopped in the ice and I can see the trap is still set, crankbait still on the triggers, just wired and tied with fishing line. Otter, they travel quite a bit, so, you know, it could take maybe a couple weeks here even before he comes back through here. Saw a couple otter here, say almost a week ago now, threw this baited otter set out here in a 220, put it on the edge of this creek, so. One of these days, the motor are gonna come back through here. Hopefully they, they see that crank, but I don't see how they couldn't see it. Hopefully they get curious, come over and try to grab it. Boom, we should have an otter. But we'll keep checking on it, I'm gonna leave it here. Got a few snares we're gonna go check here. We're coming up on my snaring location here. Don't see anything in my first two snares. Got a one snare right there. Snare right in there. Right there. Well, nothing in the snares today. 
We got five coyote snares set up back there and didn't look like there was any fresh grass coming through there. So hopefully within a day or two, they'll be back in there and hunting back there. So thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification button if you want notifications for when I post new videos. And good luck to all you trappers on the trap line this year.